Hi, my name's Scott Stewart. I'm a lecturer in chemistry here at the University of Western Australia. Chemistry is known as the central science and will undoubtedly play a critical role in solving mankind's big problems. The provision of energy, clean water and food for the world's growing population. Sustainable production of the materials essential for modern life. Understanding and adjusting to climate change, the preservation of biological diversity and the discovery of new medicines to extend and improve the quality of life. There are chemistry related jobs in diverse areas. In Western Australia, the mining industry is obviously a big employer of chemistry graduates. Chemistry are also in demand in agrochemicals, uh, petrochemicals and pharmaceutical industries, in teaching, occupation, health and safety, in research organisations such as CSIRO and DSTO and so on. The diversity of chemistry means that there are opportunities for students to tailor their major to suit their interests. Fundamental knowledge essential to all practising chemists is covered in five core units, two at first year level, one at second year level and two at third year level. These core units are supplemented with at least three other units from a specific chemistry stream. If you're interested in synthetic chemistry or studying chemistry combined with a major in pharmacology or biochemistry, etc., it would be advisable to supplement the core units with additional units from the synthetic chemistry stream. If you're interested in analytical or physical chemistry or you're studying chemistry combined with a major in engineering science, geology, physics, etc., it would be advisable to supplement the core with additional units from the analytical and physical chemistry stream. You, you should expect an average of four to five contact hours per week for each chemistry unit, and we recommend you spend a similar amount of time studying outside of class. The contact hours will include lectures, lab classes, and occasionally tutorials. Students completing a major in chemistry must study the core units and additional units that constitute one of the streams. But of course, if you really like synthetic and physical and analytical chemistry, it's possible to study both. And now I'd like to hand you over to my colleague, Matthew Pickett. In the first year of your chemistry major, you will undertake two core units, chemistry properties and energetics, and chemistry structure and reactivity. Chemistry properties and energetics focuses on the chemical properties and description of matter at the macroscopic level. You will gain an understanding of principles and concepts related to the nature of solids, liquids and gases, equilibrium and the properties of solutions, reaction rates, thermodynamics, oxidations and reductions, and the chemistry of non-metals. Chemistry, structure and reactivity, you will learn about chemical properties and description of matter at the level of atoms, molecules, and chemical reactions. Topics include atomic and molecular structure, chemical bonding, periodic properties of the elements, introductory organic chemistry, transition metal complexes, and the structure and properties of molecules of biological importance. Lab work in both of these units will give you experience in basic experimental techniques in chemistry, manipulation and use of common chemicals and standard laboratory apparatus, and recording and analysis of experimental data. These units are designed for students who have passed chemistry at 3A or 3B or equivalent level and are compulsory for the chemistry major. For students who have not passed chemistry at high school, all is not lost. Because chemistry is so important, students can gain entry into the chemistry major via introductory chemistry. Students wishing to follow this route should contact a course advisor for further information. In the second year of your chemistry major, you will undertake one core unit, core concepts and techniques. In addition, you will take at least one unit from your chosen stream or streams. In the third year of your chemistry major, you will undertake two core units, essential chemical skills and chemical explorations. In addition, you will take at least two units from your chosen stream or streams. The Essential Chemical Skills Unit emphasises more advanced aspects of core chemical principles and experimental techniques common to physical, analytical, inorganic and organic chemistry, building on those introduced in second year. In addition, students are introduced to the literature of chemistry, as well as important aspects of occupational health and safety relevant to the chemical laboratory. The unit Chemical Explorations provides an introduction to the application of chemical skills to problems in the real world through structured, inquiry-based learning approaches. These include literature searching to locate background information and data relevant to the problems, and a range of experiments conducted by small teams of students. As I mentioned earlier, in your second and third year, in addition to the core units, you'll be required to take an extra three units. 
The choice of units will depend on which stream you are interested in. For the synthetic stream, the three additional units covered advanced aspects of chemical synthesis and reaction mechanisms, applied chemistry such as catalysis and polymers, natural products and biological chemistry. In the analytical physical stream, the three additional units cover basic quantum mechanics, atomic spectroscopy, electrochemistry, advanced concepts and techniques in chemical kinetics and thermodynamics, industrial chemistry, atmospheric and environmental chemistry, resource chemistry and green chemistry. I hope you found this information useful. If you need any additional information, course advisors are on hand to field your questions. I look forward to seeing you at UWA.